Uh, my name's Seth and I'm an ectotherm keeper here at Auckland Zoo and we're in our new Australian exhibit and I'm going to tell you a little bit about our snake neck turtles today. We've got one of our older individuals here. She's actually over 30 years old. It shows you how long these guys can live for. And they're called snake neck turtles because they're long necks. So these are a side neck turtle species. They can't retract their neck fully. They actually uh, go back in an S shape. They use their long necks to basically curl around the um, undergrowth and stones on the bottom of riverbeds to find crustaceans and invertebrates which form the main component of their diet. We've got a bit of soldier fly larvae for our turtles here this morning. It's a really good food, high in protein and positive calcium, so good turtle food. One of the main features of these guys is their um, lovely shell. So you've got top and the bottom, which is called a plastron. It's actually made out of um, keratin, which is the same substance as your fingernails. And it's basically fused to the rib cage. They do have nerves which come up into the underside of their shell and they can actually feel when you, when you touch it. And its uh, main feature is obviously to protect them. These guys live for quite a long time, uh, 35 years plus. It's definitely something to consider if anyone was ever considering a turtle as a pet because they are quite popular in the pet trade and I do understand that they're an amazing animal that people want to have in their lives. But you always want to be um, careful with such a long-lived animal with such specific needs. I like all turtles. I think turtles are an amazing group of animals. There's something I really like about these guys is that they're such a strange uh, looking turtle. I personally wouldn't call them beautiful, but I suppose um, they're interesting, basically, yeah. <laughs>